Hello everybody, welcome to the second quarter final of the NAF Rules Cup. We've got Court Guy with Tier 2 Orcs in red up against I Don't Play This Game with Wood Elves in blue. Very interesting build from I Don't Play This Game. That's IDPTG in case you're uh, not as clever <laughs> as <laughs> you should be. What the hell is this setup? This can't be real. Um, so yeah, the guard, the guard catcher is very strange. Um, wrestles, normal, sidestep catchers, somewhat strange. Uh, frenzy is kind of, you know, a usual variant, right? Like you've, you've got to have a strip ball and then you can go tackle frenzy. Um, sidestep is something with a dancer is, you, people usually do something different. And then a uh, leader thrower, that's also kind of normal, so yeah. Very, very strange. The guard is 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 very unusual. Um, has three rerolls thanks to the leader and an apo. Obviously has the tree. I hate this setup. Oh my god, knuckle dusters! A dancer gets knuckle dusters. Frenzy dancer gets knuckle dusters. Maybe a very good attrition piece. Uh, so it gets the touchback anyway. But yeah, I kind of hate setting up like this back right because. At the end of the day, having them upfield and stopping the elves get breaking through is better. You know, like having no players after your ball, zero on one, <laughs> is better than like six on four, five, right? If, if, if you bring six players around to threaten the ball here, then it's six on five all of a sudden, which isn't what you want, is it? So, yeah, I hated this, this idea, um, personally, but there you go. Instant removal, and the orcs got what three guard, mighty blow, a couple of blocks, tackle. So pretty normal, pretty normal um, build. Yeah, mighty blow dancer is uh, strided at a mighty blow dancer. Tried it out. It's all right. It's better than tackle in a lot of matchups, right? And even the matches where the tackle is good, mighty blow can do the same thing by just removing somebody. Um, you know, if you do power them, so. Yeah, worth thinking about for sure. Tackle's interesting here, right? You should protect your tackler and uh, not just uh, spunk him away to get a hit. We've seen a lot of people do that. Um, and yeah, you know, I think conserving your tackle is definitely the way to go here. So you've got him to hit the, t the dancers and the catchers when it's important to hit the catchers. Tackler should fill in the back of the Bengal bus here. At the moment, there is a strip ball opportunity. Not a great one, but there is one. Oh my god, Ivy break on the tree. Removal, what a ridiculous first turn for Colt Guy. Two KOs, a Kaz, and a stun. And that is the drive almost done. Yeah, Apples. Apples the tree. I wasn't too surprised to see that, but I don't think it's really very good, right? Because turn two, it'll have rolled over and might fail to stand up. Turn three, maybe it stands up. You know, like <laughs> it's it, maybe you're getting four turns of a tree out of this on a on a half where you've already lost two. So I think just eat eat this and lie down now and go for the one turn. Well, I'll try and chip somebody with your mighty blow frenzy dancer, right? Just literally play for damage now. Is what I would do. Um, it could have been Blood Bowl 2. Yeah, I vaguely remember that. Which means it's unlikely it was Blood Bowl 1. Or maybe it's just, uh, you know, Mandela effect. But um, I feel like that was a thing, yeah. Oh. Ban him. And hello, Magnus. Not actually Magnus, obviously, because Magnus the Red isn't it. So I say Magnus, <laughs> not Magnus at all. So. I guess it could be somebody called Magnus, who's called themselves Magnus the Pink. Could be a real Magnus, but you know. <laughs> Yeah. 
It's so like here, three dicing the catcher with mighty blow is better than, than than like two dicing with tackle. Now obviously three dice with tackle you've got more chance to knock him over, but still you're so high to knock him over with, with a mighty blow, I'd probably still just go for mighty blow hits now. So I'm, really, I'm not a big fan of the tackle on orcs, honestly. I feel six guard, one mighty blow, no troll. I do like I do like Coke guys build more than uh, mine. Um, I used for Super League where I had the troll. So yeah, I hate I hate just two dicing it. Right, no reason to. Uh, I guess there is a reason to two dice it. Get away from the troll, uh, the tree. So yeah, okay, two dicing it. I, I stand corrected. I stand corrected. Do you know what I would have done? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh man, with four rerolls, I'd GFI to mighty blow the thrower. There you go. That's what I'd do. One, two, three, four, five, six. GFI to hit him. Get far the fuck away from the tree. Also, um, hate the uh, hate the tree off to one side. I said that in the last match that I casted. Of misspell tree versus Andy Devo. Um, it's just too bad if it gets knocked over or rooted, right? E either either of which is just terrible off, off to one side. Oh my god, the orcs are just going in. Very aggressive. It could be good. The problem is you haven't. Oh, he hasn't got a thrower, has he? He hasn't got a thrower. So um, that's why he's got the extra reroll. Has he? No, he must have won that on the kickoff. I don't understand how he's got the goblin. He must have got the extra reroll. Does he really have four rusted rerolls? I I don't understand. Anyway, you know he should have a he should have a tree. He should have a tree. He should have a thrower. I think just for sure hands because at the moment you could get stripped here right very easily. Not very easily, but like really good. Dodge away from tackle, and then three two, and double GFI, and then one D and push him out the corner, and you stripped him, and then you've got you've got like lots of reactions. So while it's a lot of dice to get there, um, yeah, but you get you get an apple anyway, right? He hasn't got the tree. So compared to my team. Well, compared to the standard team, you get 12 players, which is, a, it's an orc on the bench. So he's downgraded the orc on the bench to a goblin, and I guess he's downgraded the thrower to a lineman. So I guess he does have four rerolls. I guess he has four rusted rerolls. Which is a lot of rerolls, isn't it? That's, it's interesting. It's certainly interesting. Getting four rerolls is really nice. It does mean that you've got a movement six ball carry which is incredible and then that reroll is like having sure hands when it comes to the pickup so this could be the best orc roster honestly it actually could be yeah, four rerolls is very strong um the problem is if you have to field a goblin and um versus strip how prevalent do you think strip will be because Strip is very, very, very good odds, always. Probably should split this big and right, I don't know. Like, I would I would have given up. I, I would have not appled the tree and I would have given up on the drive anyway, right? And just be trying to bang with my mighty blow dancer. Good beats off the tackle. Always a good idea. Oh, doesn't beat off the tackle. Oh, chains and uphill hit on the ball. Oh, without wrestle though. Three, four, five, six. Yep, two D uphill. Blockless. Skulls. If he was had wrestle, that'd be a lot better, right? 
is a little bit. I, I, I would really like the idea of doing it with wrestle. Without wrestle, I think I might have just tried to deal with the tackle and stop my uh, stop my dancer getting punched. Now I can blitz the tackle uh, the catcher with mighty blow, and then block the uh, dancer with tackle. Pretty good. Full power. <laughs> of course that does nothing after laying waste to the L's on turn one. And the big one's the, the dancer though, and this is huge because it's the, it's the stripper as well. Oh, I don't like that. Because now the push really, uh, you know, becomes dangerous for protecting the ball. So the circles are, are just annoying, aren't they? I think it's good to have them on at first so you can see who the catches are and stuff and try to get used to it, but... They're so ugly, the, the rings. Yeah, so he had to put all these in and yeah, he's left him in contact with the cage, right? If he put him there, he could have had the whole cage like over here and then uh, push would have been alright. Most of the team is down, but you know, it's very easy to have things happen now. Like, I mean, not very easy, obviously, but <laughs> it's somewhat easy. There's a 1D here. Oh, it's Frenzy though. You know, that can do things. And then there's things here. There's all sorts of things that could happen. If he just powered him and pushed him out, then he's got like an uphill with wrestle, and then he's got a guard that he could run around, so uh, not really get a guard around. The, ta the, the strip, the strip of being, he needs to rescue the strip. I guess is the most important thing. So probably what his focus should be on is again not the ball. I, probably last turn he should have been blitzing this guy. He needs needs to get maximum value off his mighty blow. He just needs to start banging things with mighty blow. I really like doing the one D first, right? Because that would have taken away the guard. If you're doing something with the ball, you can take away the guard, you can knock this guy away, and you can push this guy out. There's all sorts of things you can do with uh, blocking, right? You can block it into there, into there, and then the second block. Oh my god, Kaz him. But you could, have, you could have pushed him into there, and then out, and then you could have 1D'd him and stuff. There's millions of things, possibilities. Now I guess we're just blitzing the guard. You really want to blitz the tackler though, don't you? Because the thing is, the tackler, if you don't blitz the tackler, the tackler is free to... Uh, Oof. Oh, did he double one? He did double one. 
sucked off a reroll and snaked. It is the leader reroll, so that's not too bad. But um, yeah, I think just blitz and attack was best, right? Ah, that's the question. Yeah, that's the question. Who knows? Well, he's got his, his orcs are red and black, but that's just the, also the default, isn't it? So you know, he could he could have a Coca Cola themed um, orc team. We just don't know. Imagine if this big one was guard. He could just whack the guard in, whack this, blitz that, block that. But um, as it is, it's a little bit tricky. I, I'm surprised he blocked with a mighty blow. I would have blocked with the guard, all right, to get him away from the tree. Just escape the tree's clutches. And, uh, yeah, it's a little bit tricky. A little bit tricky here. The lack of... The lack of guard is, is a little bit... Little bit of a factor. I'll be whack. Hello, Galencho. Hello, Mordredi. Why didn't these rocks go stand on the sideline? I've got no idea. We don't know. Hello, surveillance. Missed lots of chat. I don't know why. <laughs> I think this is too early for me. Uh, by the way, uh, if anybody's watching on YouTube. I'm 100% dedicated to streaming, and I got woke up at 5 a.m. to uh, to cast this match. Uh, you know, time zone differences it was very uh, difficult, so I am actually very bleary-eyed at the moment. This is, uh, you know, it's not going to be top form, Jimmy. I do apologise. <laughs> Hello, Saul. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. <laughs> Deep. <laughs> um, <laughs> I do, LeBron. I do. It's definitely five a.m. right now. <laughs> the problem here is you want to you want to blitz the catcher, right? You want to go one, two, three, four. Five, six, but then you put him on the ball, so you can't put him on the ball. So you've got to go there and punch him like that, which pushes him to there. But then if you do that, then the mighty blow dancer just smashes you. Did he not blitz this turn off? Maybe he blitzed and I wasn't paying attention. Um, Dave, please don't lie. Thank you very much. Outrageous. Lying for the YouTubers. That's disgusting. Dave, don't believe Dave. Fake news. It's 5 a.m. I'm 100% dedicated to getting up in the middle of the night. Yeah, thank you, Kalon. See, look, Kalon knows. And, uh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> Dave was incredible. Is that your entire net worth? <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> Thank you, Fami. <laughs> Yeah, this was a really nice chain out, wasn't it? It was a it was a good punch. Gets the tree on three players, and it chains out the the wrestler for a one d. So at one d, a two plus dodge. I don't know why I said a one d, two plus dodge out. So that was a very uh, very big mistake. I thought actually last turn, uh, funnily enough, by coat guy. I really like the uh, big and block. Oh, we're tagging the ball. That's not too bad, is it? This is quite interesting now, although. Although all the elves are on the wrong side of the ball, <laughs> like <laughs> the ball's here, and if you have this li as like the offensive line, he's got like what three all based, and he's got two people ahead of him, and then the ball's based, and then the all of these guys they're on the wrong side, but they're all put exerting a lot of pressure, and then the tree is tagging out these three to one. So it turns out the apple on the tree was a fantastic move. By I don't play this game. I didn't enjoy it, but um, you know I wouldn't have done it. But I didn't think it was correct at the time. But now it's you know it's getting amazing value, isn't it? The tree. So there you go. Fair play. <laughs> the most honest channel it is. Thank you, finally. <laughs> Why would you say that? But that doesn't make any sense. Uh, that's, I'm I'm telling the truth about what time it is. Okay. Just this morning I. <laughs> 
<laughs> I woke up, right, about, I honestly, I woke up about, what, 40 minutes ago, um, so that was 4.20, I woke up, looked outside, there was a, there was a filthy liberal operating the, uh, operating the weather machine, and I thought, oh my god, that's, that's outrageous, you know, they, then they, they wiped, they wiped the blood off their mouth as they'd been eating a cat, <laughs> they, they said, I nearly got burned by them when they did that, but, uh, I managed to defeat all of that and stream for you guys at 5am, so, you know, really, really is quite amazing. It's not noon. It's uh, it's nearly two. Yeah, it, it, you know. <laughs> Thank you, Bron. Thank you, Bron. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think I just need help, Steve. <laughs> I, I just need help. <laughs> It's too early, man. It's too early. I just need help. Funny you should mention Elliot. I am here. <laughs> it's the best thing ever. Right. It looks like he sold it here, doesn't it? With this, uh, with this stun here, and this beat off. It looks like he's actually sold it, and if the tree stays down, then he gets to reinforce with those two guys. Ooh, yeah, okay, okay. And that's not so good, of course, when there's a player here to cancel that. But the also can get pushed. So this is this is a 1D to get guard in the cage, and oh, uh, so you could you could also hit him. That makes it a 2D. But you, you can get guard on the cage, then you can like jump in or dodge in or whatever. So this is looking uh this is looking very, very, very bad for the orcs. Um this is actually worse the worst move you could have done, I think, moving this in. But I guess all these standing here made it really difficult for him anyway, so Um There shouldn't be any static. No, this should be everything should be perfect. <sighs> Yes, hopefully Elliot. Uh, hopefully Elliot will just turn up. Oh, okay, no. So he rolled a skull. Then he gets the pow. So I mean, this was definitely worth it. No! Could have put the guard in. I wouldn't have done that. I think he had to get the guard in. I know this gives him a one D, and it's three. But I wanted the 1D. And then, like, dodge, right? I'd have dodged for, for a 2D. Um, or, like, done other things. So, that you, you, know, you know, to do things over here somehow. Because like, he hasn't got that many players. Maybe this was better, actually. The problem is, where's the recovery, right? It's, it's all a bit difficult, isn't it? Whereas he could have, like... If it had been the catcher there... And maybe you can hit from a different angle. I'm not sure you can. Maybe it was all a bit fucked, whatever he did. Right, this is just the dancer, isn't it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is what the dancer does. And then he, ta he should have tagged the tackler, right? He should have tagged... Oh, the tackler's already tagged, so no, this is good. Right, and then this guy goes 1... Two. He could have like go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, GFI, GFI, something like that as well. Only one reroll though, it makes it a lot harder, doesn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's okay. But honestly the the leaping at some point seems pretty decent. So probably like one Maybe even two, three, no, two, three, four. No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, but then that's not good, right? So probably one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, you just ended the turn? I guess if you fail the pickup, you kind of surfed, but you've actually got him on the back foot, right? Uh, so I would have at least liked to try the pickup. 
the leap makes it less likely that you get there for the pickup but more payoff if you do so I, I would probably wouldn't have done it I would probably try to pick it up and then you know if I get there think afterwards but, um, they've got half a chance the elves it was it was fine <sighs> Got a cup of tea. Hopefully that'll wake me up here at 5 a.m. <laughs> the things I do for <laughs> for you guys, honestly. <laughs> 3D. Are we surfing the? Uh, no. I didn't know he was blocking or anything. I could have surfed this down tonight. It is turn six, so. It's a little bit... Could have surfed the other dancer as well. It could have... It's probably better to surf the stripper though, isn't it? Thank you, Bucky. Thank you. Exactly. That is it. I am here... That is, that, that is exactly what it is, Bucky. I am here to serve the community. The greater Blood Bowl community. Um, I'm sacrificing... <laughs> There you go. The Blood Bowl Saint. No. The Blood Bowl Saint. Yeah, my shift started at uh, 5 a.m. Just, just now. <laughs> I did work nights once. I, 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 it was no problem. I didn't. I, I actually actively liked working nights more than working days. Funnily enough, seeing as I wait, seeing as I stay up till five a.m. most nights, randomly, what tends to happen is I get really tired at like nine p.m. and then by eleven I'm wide awake, <laughs> and then by like one I'm tired but can't sleep. <laughs> Every day. I don't, I don't think he's got a plan for this stripper here, does he? He doesn't seem to have a plan for this stripper. I mean, it's the eye cage, but that's not good enough, because now if you get stripped, you're in the crowd, or you can get surfed. I just don't sleep, though. If, if you know... I'm tired, but then can't sleep. I'm tired and can't sleep at nine, and then, and then at eleven I'm not tired at all, and then one I'm tired again, and then at about five I can sleep. And sometimes I do get to sleep at nine and stuff, you know. At ten, sometimes I get to sleep at one or two, but often I'll just not. And then I'll just randomly stay up till seven or something. It's just, it's just weird. Oh my god, another reroll gone. Last reroll doesn't reroll it then. <laughs> oh. So again, lots of options here. Um, could I mean he's got an easy one D right with um, blocking here, block him in and one D, but then it's with not no skills. You really want to get the strip in. But the strip's a little bit awkward. You could um, leap into here, couldn't you? Surf him. That's not terrible. The leap surf isn't terrible. The leap strip isn't terrible. like dodge then leap to here right and then strip him out there but I feel like the the double 1d surf probably gives you better odds of like with the scatters in and stuff I don't know. or you could just go there and strip and then you know might go on the sideline might come out I mean it's really really interesting there's just so many things you can do isn't there I don't know 
I really have got no idea which is the best way of doing anything here. I'll be honest. Hello, punter. Oh yeah, you can just you can just but the 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 leap to there is worse, isn't it? So ideally, you'd want like dodge then leap, but then yeah, then you've got loads of shit scatters. So you do want to hit him that way. I guess you could just leap directly there, couldn't you? Just leap directly there, but then it's maybe coming out the back. Chun's column, yeah. Are we gonna dodge or leap? Does does the dodge? Gets the full pow! Chun's column. In the crowd. Oh my goodness. And that and now he's got the thrower <laughs> is too far away. Chun's column, yeah. Stay off Chun's column if you know what's good for you. He can, um, oh, do you know what he could do? <laughs> Unfortunately, he needs the player that, that you'd be passing to, right? He could come in there, and then he could block him and chain him to there, and then he could go, like, three, three, two, <laughs> pick it up, and then pass it, except you'd have used the guy who was getting him passed to. Oh, this is good, isn't it? Double GFI handoff. Oh, no. Dodged off the wrong way. Oh, okay. I like much more just going for the handoff, right? Get it, the dancer. Oh, I like jump with the dancer. Where was he? About here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, yes, Sol, yeah, I don't like that at all. I would have wanted to try to pass it or hand it off to the dancer for sure. I thought that was the point of the dancer coming round here, right, was to get it to him. But yeah, the, the dancer could have gotten it himself, yeah, that might have been better. And then the dancer could have, like, got it here. I don't know exactly where he's about here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, GFI, GFI. He could have got a whip there. And that guy could have been stood here on, on this uh, big one. The big one is not blitzing. So. He was he was less affected than me, Kalon. We had rain in uh, in Darlington. <laughs> we had rain. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine how bad that is? Outrageous. It was a harrowing experience. I really don't like not hitting with the Black Hawk. Biggin, whatever it's called. <laughs> well, I can easily avoid the heroin, Kalon. Here's the dodge. Gets the power. So I guess this way he gets to hit with Mighty Blow and he needed that guy for recovery anyway. So... I 
and he bangs it in. Fair enough, the, the dancers were lurking. And now he's got to field the goblin, which makes his build a little bit worse. And the elves have got a two turn chance, but without re rolls. So. And no, it's based on two players, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Mordred, I think, there wasn't a 2D to 3. Oh, it could be, but uh, I didn't see anything. Easy. Um, yeah, not terrible, yeah, not terrible for the ball and bobbers, yeah. Wait, tackle wolf. If you only got, if you got like three, wait. Yeah, terrible. I've just seen the tackle wolf. Is it one of those where you're only allowed three of the same skill? De de yeah, no, no way attack a wolf then, yeah. Block wolves, block ghoul, four guard. Like a block golem's fine. Um, because it's not block or wrestle. <laughs> that is that is basically the reason, right? You want to punch every turn with your wolves. Um, in an ideal world, you punch with both, which is why block is generally preferred. Wrestle gives you the the reality is you're often not going to get the block with both, so wrestle wrestle gives you like a bit of a bit of subtlety versus bludges etc. Whereas um, like the the blocks are better in an ideal world of getting to make more blocks. So there you go. No, no, wrestle's still better, right? Wrestle's still better because then at least you're not you're not dead when you get knocked over. <laughs> So no, wrestle is wrestle is uh, wrestle is absolutely hundred percent better. Yeah, yeah. Re wrestle is a million. You can go. You can go one block on wrestle. Like it's totally fine to go a block and a wrestle instead of two blocks. Yeah. I want to decide. I might be going. It might be going for the goblin side. Yeah, this is the problem with the goblin, right? The goblin should have actually been here. Well, first of all, I like going one closer. But um, if the goblin's here, he can't blitz the goblin, right? Because then he's not getting any penetration. So actually, he put the goblin in like the weaker spot, basically, right? You want the goblin either in there or in there, so it can't get hit and isn't a weak link. And he's put him as one of the weak links, like the. Your weak links in the chevrons are the two outside ones and the two inside ones. And the inside is completely exposed because you can just block this guy down with a tree and go completely through the middle. Or you can uh, yeah, blitz a goblin and go completely down the side. So not, not great. Yeah, exactly. That. So the thing about tackle is the the thing about tackle is that the only skills in NAF style <laughs> are block, guard, mighty blow, <laughs> wrestle, you know, dodge, tackle, basically, right? To an extent, strip, but lesser extent, strip. Inside seven stuff, but but they're the main thing. So it's it's just the the fact that you're competing. You're competing with those is the thing, isn't it? So that just makes can wolves even have leader? <laughs> um, but yeah, that, like that's the thing. So, so really, all of your skills want to be those those skills. But yes, leader leader is another thing. And there's probably other ones as well, right? Like 
sidestep, you know, two heads, extra arms. But, you know, if we take out the main things that your fighty men are looking at, a block guard, mighty blow, tackle, which they're all on this team, right? Block guard, mighty blow, tackle. And then your elfy teams want wrestle and maybe leader because it's more the elfy teams want it because they tend to have less rerolls. And you can take a frenzy and you can take a stripper and you can take dodge. But very, very few skills. Like, it, it's, it's opportunity cost. It's all just driven by opportunity cost, right? Well, the thing is, so think about this Blood Bowl and Bobbers, right? If you, what if you play Dark Elves with five non blodgers and then you hit them with Block Frenzy and uh, Claws? Right? <laughs> no, no, there is leader. Leader is fair. Leader is fair. Completely reasonable. Yeah, and you still got two hits at the lodge, and but the important thing is to protect them, right? You need the protective half of block and dodge, uh, block and wrestle. Sorry. Oh man, failed the pick up. Did a handoff, double one the pick up. Didn't have a secondary scoring threat in. Could have had a secondary scoring threat in first, but now there's only one player to deal with for coat guy. So it was very unlucky, right? Very unlucky, double wanting the pick up. But there was only one scoring threat. Has to re-roll this. Also, should have just hit from behind. Really weird not to hit from behind. You literally have to re-roll this, mate. It's his only scoring threat. <laughs> what? No way. I mean, the secondary scoring threat is, you know, something you could have done. But it was very unlucky. Yeah, I, I, I would, I would recommend both block, but like wrestles, wrestles an option. It's not, it's not. I don't know which is better. Um, may, may, maybe for winning the tournament, maybe block is better, right? Because block increases your chance of dicing people. <laughs> and it's better when you're dicing people. And um, most people in a tournament that you play aren't very good at Blood Bowl. And you can <laughs> but you know if you block them you'll remove some players and then you'll get an easier win um and if you're playing somebody who is good at blood ball if you cast people and remove their players then that's how you can beat them right you know you're much better you've got a much better chance of beating andy dave or if you've got 11 and he's got six than if you've got 11 and he's got 11 right? so Play for the kills. Yeah. Have fun. Yeah. Honestly, and also another really bad thing about wrestle, right? Is sometimes if you're the sixth best player in the world on according to the NAF rankings, you'll hit somebody with wrestle and then choose not to use wrestle. So that is <laughs> that is an aspect that should not be un <laughs> underestimated. <laughs> oh, sorry, I can't help myself. This is weird, isn't it? Maybe you have to, like, 1D... Maybe you can five plus pass. So maybe you have to hand off to the to the catcher or the dancer. 
he blitzes his way through and then the catcher of the dancer passes it to him in the end zone. He could cancel the assist there. Oh, he could go one, two, three, four, four. Okay, just dodge. I didn't really like dodging from tackle. I like on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, so you've got a guard in there. Cancel the assist, so you've still got two dice because he's got guard, you've got guard. Fill the pick up again. Oh my god. Oh, he hasn't got sure runs, has he? I thought it was really unlucky, but he hasn't got sure runs. Of course, it's a shit thrower. Well, it wasn't that unlucky to fill the pick up then, was it? I forgot that el the elf throws are a bit shit. <laughs> It's just a two plus pickup. I was thinking it was a double one. Ah, it's not really unlucky. Really unlucky is the first block of your game is a quad skull and your best player dies. <laughs> <laughs> it's a two plus roll. So you should definitely have the second scoring threat in right before you attempt just a naked two plus. So yeah, absolutely needed the secondary scoring threat in first um, on turn seven. And then on turn eight, it was then really unlucky because now you failed two two pluses. Um, but I really hated the three plus away from tackle when the catcher could have put the guard in to make it a blitz against the goblin and then a two plus off. And then he could have been stood in the end zone and then you could have handed off the other dancer who would have then like tried a five plus pass, which isn't great, but is what it is. So only eight elves, well, seven elves in a tree, versus ten and a half orcs, <laughs> because the uh, goblin is shit. Sorry, everybody who likes goblins. <laughs> oh god, yeah, that they, that's really unlucky. Yeah, that's that's really unlucky. Yeah, Jesus. Jesus. Honestly, the best player there is just conceding, isn't it? If it's allowed by the tournament. Because, uh... <laughs> better to, uh... Better to just enjoy the next hour and a half than not. Only lost by the highest possible score. <laughs> it's not good, it's not good, Kalon. Um Dio is completely wrong. Completely and utterly wrong. When it comes to blood ball adversity. It's fair enough with some other adversity, right? Like, makes sense, right? Makes sense, um, the adversity of a sprinter hopping over hurdles, you know, for uh, stuff, right? Things like that. You know, boxers getting up at fucking 3 a.m. and running loads of fucking miles every day. Things like that makes sense, right? That's the price they've got to pay, you know. Cristiano Ronaldo, first guy in the in training and the last guy out every single day. But there's a reason they do that, and they accept that they're not going to enjoy it. When that's all that you're doing <laughs> in a game that's meant to be for fun, doesn't make any sense, does it? It was a lone one in nine with the ball completely exposed, yes. And these two player, this one player was completely free to act, yeah. So. There was only one player free to act, to be fair. To be fair... You can do other things, yeah. You can just literally do anything other than play a, a miserable game of Blood Bowl. 
but there's some weird fucking obsession with people saying, oh yeah, you've got to suffer. Probably just because they suffered themselves and they want other people to suffer. There's a lot of that, isn't there? There's a lot of that with various things, I've noticed. There was a long old walk with a frenzy, but he wanted to get the he wanted a frenzy into the tree, didn't he? No, sure, but that's not what Dio says, is it, Kalon? I'm talking about Dio being wrong with the like the seeking adversity thing is just stupid because it's a shitty like it's a it's just like it's you know if it's a shitty dicing, there's. It's it's a little kid's game. There's no money. There's no career to be made. You know, this isn't like this isn't like you know, getting brain damage to earn twenty million a fight, or or you know, getting the adulation of thousands and earning millions of dollars by being a footballer. You know, um, you get nothing out of it. You get you might get a little bit better at blood ball from it, but even if you are, so what? <laughs> <laughs> now you might enjoy it more if you're better. It depends. It depends what level you're at and stuff, right? Like if you if you're getting frustrated and you want to get better, that's different than the dio thing of, you know, trying to be top class. I just don't think there's any point trying to be top class at Blood Bowl. I think it's fair enough getting a you know learning how to play properly so that you know enjoying like I enjoy Blood Bowl. Right? I enjoy like playing the game, solving the puzzles. Once the puzzle is solved, because you've had, like, turn one, your two best players are dead, and you've lost 280 TV, there's no more puzzle to solve. The puzzle, the puzzle has solved itself, right? There's no game to be played now. It's over. <laughs> you know, so... Just is what it is. Like, there is having the battling mentality or the Artemis mentality, and I'm, I'm not saying that the Artemis mentality is correct by any means, but I also think that the Dio um, idea is wrong. <laughs> oh, we could, we could surf. Uh, we can surf. Oh, we can't surf the Tackler, but we can surf the other one anyway. We can surf this guy, can't we? I can surf this blitzer, but I can't surf the tackle. Yes, exactly, so, yeah. Yeah. Yes, the temperament and stuff, which, you know, arts is terrible. <laughs> That's, uh... Yeah, that's fair, Thulean, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, I'm not. I'm, I I think art's wrong with the instantly concede because it's over, because somebody you know rolled a three plus, but I think turn one you've lost both necro wolves is next levels of not having them not bothering to play different in tabletop again because you're there and you paid for your ticket and stuff and you would laugh at tabletop i would laugh at tabletop right i've never ever been salty playing tabletop ever it's completely different completely different but if you're if you're sitting at home if you're sitting at home on your tod and you're like right i've got the internet I've got a fucking top of the line PC. Everything is at my fingertips. All the entertainment on earth is at my fingertips. I've just had my two best players killed on turn one. I'm sorry, but sitting and enduring that for an hour and a half is not top of my priorities. <laughs> In fact, it's the absolute bottom one. <laughs> Yeah, it is Thulean, yeah. It's not it's nothing like tabletop. I think what happens as well is it happened yesterday when you know we were talking a little bit after the after the YouTube was all the PC was on and Dimmy was on and we were talking about uh you know, tabletop a little bit and 
the problem was I was mentioning, you know, some of my worst experiences at Tabletop because that's what you know, the subject was, right? <laughs> and then somebody in the in chat was like, oh, I'm put off going to tournaments now and stuff. But that wasn't, that wasn't the intention, right? It was just, I wasn't, I wasn't trying to badmouth tabletop or anything. Tabletop is much more fun. It is much more fun than playing online. I've never, ever, ever been sold to playing tabletop. But apart from, not from the Blood Bowl, right? From the gamesmanship of the people that I've been playing, that's the thing, right? which is the same in Magic the Gathering and Warhammer and everything as well. And it's not that everyone's like that, or many people are like that, but when it happens, it's not fun, is it? But that's just people being people, but nothing to do with the Blood Bowl. Whereas Blood Bowl online, you know, you hear everybody saying, it's just not possible to enjoy this game and stuff like that, which is just, you know, never felt that about the game on tabletop, ever. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, you can. <laughs> um, yeah, the chat, the time to get another game. Yeah. Oh, tackler in there. Interesting. I thought he might have. Thought he might have tried to pow and uh, go through here. I like the mighty blow hit around the tackle hit though. Very good. Also, if you're gonna if you're just gonna blitz him, then you could have put the goblin in the in there, right? This guy's surely gonna go here. Though, like, m maybe here or here as well, but I, I, it's funny, I would just think of putting him there as well, right? Like, it doesn't really do anything. I, it stops this guy two putting away, yeah, that's what it does. Yeah. Oh, that wasn't the sidestepper. I thought that was the sidestepper. I think here, right, to stop him getting the two plus out. Or here. I guess you stop a two plus out there. So funny, isn't it? If the goblin had gone there, then this tackler would have been here, and you could have had an extra few more things. Yeah, this begin could have been there, and the tackler could have been there. But then you start this two plus off. So it's actually doing a good job, actually. The goblin, there. it's not useless. Rough in it, rough for the elves. This <laughs> it's 5 a.m., it's the middle of the night, you know. Yeah, yeah, this this one had to be controlled by this. The the, the uh, the big one had to control this one. I get wanting to stop this two plus out, but this two plus out is way better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yep, GFI. And then he basically can't be caught. Got the sideline, couldn't he? he didn't need to. Oh no! He could pass it as well. He didn't even need a handoff. He could have just passed it. He's got pass. Could have just lobbed it from here. Bosh. Then he would have had a reroll. That was always allowed. <laughs> Is Elliot here? I don't know. Are you here, Elliot? I am here. <laughs> oh my god. I love it. <laughs> So he did the pass here. This is all a bit safer, right? This is all a bit safer, but the problem is... Um, first of all, this guy can dodge and hit you. Instantly, without thinking. And second of all... Um, you know, it gives him a turn to get back the guys for next turn, right? So like, even if you don't do that, it's giving him a turn to pull back the mighty blow on the tackler to have some defense because he can't score this turn. Maybe this catcher should have been in range, right? Maybe this catcher should have been in range. Yeah, exactly, the orcs can react, indeed, yeah. Yeah, 
Yarp. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. I was at a swingers party in Sheffield recently. I was worried I might bump into someone I might know. And just when I thought I was safe, I heard from behind me... I am here. <laughs> I guess we're not getting the, um, oh, we're going to 3D with Mighty Blow on the catcher. That's quite reasonable. Oh, that's not. I have to re-roll it. Gets the Powdy Howdy, but sticks himself on a tree. Gets the removal. Does he dodge away? With the blitzer. Big question. Does not dodge away with the blitzer. Should have also dodged away with the biggin, I think. Um, either over here or you know, more over there or just back or more over this side. Maybe maybe over here, right? To to stop these fuckers doing things. Both dancers are over here. So maybe try and dodge out and get over there. Get over there! That was the worst get over here by ever. I don't know why I just said just said it normally. <laughs> Apologies. Yeah, he's hardly got any players left. Jesus. And you can blitz this blitzer and then put two of them there, but then what? I mean, where do they go? What do they do? Give it to the dancer. Put the dancer here and then hand it off to him. That looks like what we're doing. <laughs> yes, Sol, <all> yes. <laughs> Some zero from your castle. Just the north, just the north, Kaelon. I can't, man. I can't even do a Geordie accent. Misspell Tree did play Andy last night, yes. Um, it was interesting. Yeah. As Kaelon the Turd would say, it was interesting. Super interesting. Honestly, I really enjoyed watching uh, watching Geordie Shaw, like just just to hear the accent. <laughs> I haven't even heard it in ages. Correct. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> That's great, girl. It's good having catchphrases, isn't it? <laughs> I just need to learn how to do an impression of Elliot, which is just, I am here, <laughs> and then I can do it all the time. <laughs> but like, you know, it, it needs to sound perfect. I can just say, I, I am here, and it'll just sound exactly the same as Elliot. And then that would be brilliant, wouldn't it? <laughs> I can say, if I could only speak three words in Elliot-ish. <laughs> That would be incredible. 
Mm. Takes out the leader. It's looking real bad. Real, real bad for the elves, isn't it? Got to say, they had to make that breakaway. As some people said. That was the turn. Just get out of distance, make it 1-1. Get your KOs back. Maybe strip them for the win. That's what you have to do. Yeah, Hellboy's great, isn't he? <laughs> I didn't even think of that machine. <laughs> but uh, no, I just want—I just want to be able to say I am here in El Yorish. If I was a thick gun, thick gun, thick skull doesn't kill it. I didn't too, Dan. <laughs> That's pretty great. <laughs> okay, we might have a we might have a route to victory. Well, not victory. Over time. Nope. Oh. Hellboy does not look like he sounds, no. No, that's... It's very, uh... Very much not what you'd expect. PC looks exactly how he sounds, doesn't he? <laughs> PC couldn't, couldn't look more like he sounded if he tried. <laughs> but Hellboy does not look like you would expect... Look how he sounds, yeah. I wonder if there was something better he could have done. Certainly not following, right? He could have certainly not followed then. Problem is the tackle's out of out of range, basically. So I would rather knock him up on 3D and then again on 3D, right? So I hate what he's done here. Because now it's just now. I guess now we're going to see the uh, the GF double GFI two D. Glorious. But he could have no, had like six I won't dice, give right? In until I'm victorious, and I will defend. I will defend. Okay, we're going to get three dice with tackle. Okay, three dice with tackle is good. Three dice with tackle and can reroll if you make both GFIs. I, I don't know. I would have rather just had like three dice without with mighty blow. Reroll that, and then have another three dice afterwards. Bloodborne Bobbers, thank you very much. Absolutely glorious, staying fantastic. Oh yeah, spot on in the L's defence here. Yeah. Eighty percent skill, gentleman whippet breeder. Yeah, that that's a good. That's a good way of describing him. And then he blitz with a mighty blow anyway. Well, that was definitely incorrect. Didn't re-roll it. You've got three, dude. What are you saving him for? He can't leap though anymore, can he? That's the thing. The leap. This is when the leap nerf hurts, isn't it? Because in the old rules, he'd just be choose. <laughs> um, whereas now. You've got to, like, you know, what, try to uphill this guy? Four, five, six. Yeah, you could, you could, you could stand him up, then uphill this guy. No, uphill this one, and then you're in two tackle zones. Or something, or like, dodge, or oh, you can blitz this one, and then just go out backwards. Okay, well, that's. 
<laughs> this is obviously the best play. This is obviously the best play you've got backwards. But the problem is, you know, scoring. So I was trying to get forward. Whereas, but with the old rules, you'd have just leapt and then dodged. And it's easy, isn't it? It's like, it's crazy how, how bad the leap nerf is right now. <laughs> if you shrunk Colin Firth in the wash. Uh, yeah, every time I've seen him, he's wearing a flat cap, yeah. Yeah, dog's leap, yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, GFI, GFI. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine. This one just has to do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and tag. <laughs> it's pretty fucked, whatever you do. Yeah, dodge back on me, but... Yeah. Oh, all the colour the cuts here. Only got three turns, so can't really afford to run back. And then this one does the 5-2. Tag the tackle there. Do you know what? I didn't hear that. That was that that was decent. Though I think going up here is better. But that was decent. Now it's only two D with tackle, and if you fail this you're in a bit of a pickle, aren't you? Because then your tackle has committed some I think you do have to hit the tackle. Maybe you could have done any safe moves first. I don't know if this had been in Dub Skulls. Also could have hit from here, right? You should have hit from here. So he could have been in front of him when he powered him. Very important. As it happens, he casts him and it doesn't matter. But you know, it's a little thing, maybe. But it makes a big difference, I think, right? The... The, the dancer being here has got a two plus out, whereas if it's if it's there, then it's uh, then it's rough. If it rides a four two to go directly forward, then it's got to go backwards first, which is good. Yeah, these rumors seem insane though. Like I can't believe that those rumors are correct, Caitlin. Because it just seems so insane. Not okay, Caelan Galentio. The rumours seem so insane that surely they can't do that. Uh, rumours. I thought it was a tabletop thing. The rumour. The rumour was um, they were going to nerf. They were going to nerf orcs particularly. By uh, making teams water in the sprues. So, like, then Dark, Elf Blitz, Dark Elves would have two blitzes because they've got two blitzes in the sprue. And stuff like that. Yeah, the team's being changed to the box sets here. But I thought that was a tabletop, so I thought. I thought. Kalon and Jaylee would have heard that. Because I'm sure I heard it from one of your lot. <laughs> but I don't, again, I don't, it doesn't seem like it could be true. Because that seems a crazy over nerf. For like, no real reason. Like, isn't it better that they sell a box set and then an expansion pack? Isn't that just better? Like, Games Workshop, of all people, would be a weird company to like, remove DLC. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, congratulations to Coke Guy there. Um, unfortunately, we don't get to see the summary screen because, you know, that's just 
that's just not possible in uh, Blood Bowl 3. I don't know when that broke, but at some point that broke, and it's, uh, it's, it's a little bit annoying, isn't it, that you just can't see the summary of a game after it, after you've been spectating. Um, you'd think they'd want to fix that before the World Cup. Hopefully they do, and hopefully they will, but um, I think that's going to make the World Cup a pretty annoying if you can't and it's not it's in like it's in more or less two weeks isn't it I've got to get practicing I really don't know what uh, what team to use but you know Orcs are still good aren't they I mean court guy there they've got lots of skills they can do things uh, a perfectly cromulent team right and IDPTG had some bad luck, but there you go, that's that's Blood Bowl, isn't it? Uh, well played at both. Congratulations, Court Guy. Commiserations, I don't play this game. There we go. So now Court Guy is in the semi final versus Art Miss or Dimmy. Will King is in the final versus Talk 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 or Pagan Agent. And uh, yeah, lovely, lovely uh, little draw with bracket we've got now, haven't we? Fantastic. And thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.